Good afternoon and welcome to Grain TV. Today's February 10th, 2012. I'm Logan Burgess. To my right is Brock Shimano. Brock, kind of an interesting week here in the grain complex. The big story that the trade is watching was Thursday's USDA WASI report. When the dust settled here, where are we sitting at for weekly price changes? Yeah, leading up to the, the report day on Thursday, we saw low volume and choppy trade in anticipation mm -hmm. of the USDA report. Thursday, the report came out, saw the market move sharply higher, actually hit multi-week highs for corn and soybeans only to sell off all the way into the close. For the week, we actually ended up down 14 and a quarter cents on corn, beans down four cents, Chicago wheat down 31 and a half, and Kansas City wheat down 40 and three quarter cents, the leader to the downside. Yeah, Brock, you know, uh, grains really did lose some ground here this week. Uh, one important thing to note today was that we saw two key pieces of news come out from the Foreign Ag Service. Uh, Egypt made a big uh, order of corn from the U.S. 240,000 metric tons today was put on the books. And another big story was that China was actually back in the soybean market purchasing 120,000 metric tons of soybeans. So that's certainly something to keep an eye on here as we move forward. Kind of switching gears here though from the futures market into the cash market. We did some look investigating here this morning into the cash market. Here's kind of what we found for corn right now. Take a look here. We, we looked at four states in particular. Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, and Kansas. What this chart is showing here is how much is the cash market compensating producers per bushel for carrying corn from February until June. In this example here, you can see that in Iowa right now, that's around 7.38 cents. And you know, that's well below what a lot of producers cost to carry is in their operation. Moving over to soybeans, it's kind of the same story here. We even see an inverted market right now in areas of Indiana and Kansas. You know, these figures here are taken on average, so your, your situation is going to be unique from these. But uh, if I'm a producer out there, I'm going to be taking a serious look at my cash market. You know, maybe make a few cash sales right now. The cash market, particularly for corn, is red hot. Uh, you know, and if you're bullish on the futures market, you can always go long the futures or pick up a call. There's really a lot of options out there right now uh, for producers. If you do uh, want any advice on that, certainly do give, give us a call here at Grainheads. We'll help you out. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back to take a look at some weather projections for over the weekend. And welcome back to Grain TV. Brock, you know, we took a look here at the futures market and the cash market domestically. Let's take a look at some projections for Europe and South America uh, we're looking at here for over the weekend. Yeah, it looks like that cold front that's been over the Black Sea region is going to continue to be there for the next several days into the weekend. Uh, these numbers are actually in degrees Celsius, which would equate to about uh, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's going to be important to see how this affects the winter kill scenarios that we've been uh, talking about for the last couple of weeks or so, and the wheat market has really been paying attention to. As we move through the weekend, doesn't look like we're going to warm up a whole lot, maybe just a few degrees Celsius, uh, but Monday has looked like the best chance for us to actually warm up and get above those uh, zero degrees Fahrenheit. Certainly. Well, you know, that will be important here for the uh, Chicago wheat futures domestically. Uh, kind of for corn and soybeans, uh, the thing that the trade's really going to be watching in South America, the continued situation there. You know, it looked like they did get some pretty substantial rains into areas of Argentina and Brazil. That was weighing on the futures market here uh, earlier in the week. As we're looking through the weekend here, take a look. Friday into Saturday, not really any big rain to report here. Saturday into Sunday, kind of the same story. Sunday into Monday, we may be seeing some more substantial rains, particularly for those areas of southern Brazil that the soybean uh, trade is really going to be watching here. We'll keep you posted on the weather front in South America and Europe here on Grain TV. Follow us on Twitter, at Grain TV is where you can find us. That wraps up our show for Friday. Have a great weekend.